Pennsylvania hosted the International Robotics and Automation Conference, or ICRA 2022. 7,000 participants, 95 countries, and robots that can walk, drive, fly, and swim. We have collected all the most interesting things from the largest exhibition of robots this year in today's one video. Let's get started. The conference was a real parade of robots. The Boston Dynamics Spot demonstrated its nimble robot arm, capable of perfectly maintaining equilibrium and predetermined positioning in space. Agile X Robotics brought its wheeled and crawler platforms to Pennsylvania, designed for indoor and outdoor travel on rugged terrain. The company's most handy robots can carry loads of up to 150 kilograms, and all but the warehouse tracer can also climb curbs and steps from 5 to 17 centimeters high, and climb fully laden on slopes up to 36 degrees, traversing shallow waters, ditches, and mud. Agile X Robotics are able to map terrain autonomously, navigate bypass obstacles, and plan their way. The company also produces an open-source educational robot and a platform with a clever learning manipulator that has six degrees of freedom. The Animal Robot has recently acquired the ability to not only drive and climb the stairs quickly on four wheels, but also take a vertical position and hold it by imitating humanoid robots. Ghost Robotics also brought its Vision 60 robot for the military. According to the company, the robot remains waterproof for half an hour. It's equipped with reversible engines and its movement is independent of the camera, so it can maintain balance in any situation without human operator commands. The robot can walk 9 kilometers in 3 hours on a single charge. It also claims that it uses components that you can buy ready-made. The robot can potentially be used for remote safety and routine patrol inspections. The company also brought to the exhibition its early research model, the Spirit 40. Unitree Technology brought the GO1 Baby Companion and the B1 Industrial Grade Robot Special, featuring IP68 water resistance. Also at ICRA 2022, we couldn't identify this unidentified two-wheel robot. It looks like our old acquaintance robot Ascento from the same name startup, but differs in the design of the legs. Maybe you know who created it. Let us know down in the comments. There were also robots called ClearPath Robotics, modern multi-purpose mobile robotic platforms and the Tia Go robot from PAL Robotics, which serves as a research platform, also hopes to become a useful assistant in hospitals and nursing homes in the future. During our visit to ICRA 2022 in Humanoid Robots, Digit by Agility Robotics was the first commercially available humanoid robot to master warehouses, but also positioned as a robot courier and robot helper. There was also a predecessor of the Digit robot, the two-legged Cassie, which is remarkable for stability and permeability. An interesting and new development was the anthropomorphic robot, Robot Gun Softhand from the Italian company QB Robotics. The gripper is based on mechological technology and can adapt to the shape of items it takes. The drive system is driven by tendons and equipped with a single motor that allows you to open and compress five fingers together, reproducing the first synergy of human hand movement. It's interesting that the robot arm is created specifically for industrial applications. A group of cyber-physical system scientists from the Technical University of Munich presented provably a safe deep learning with reinforcement for robotic manipulation in the human environment. Although reinforcement training, or RL, is now the fastest and most promising method for robots, no known method yet guarantees the safety of highly dynamic obstacles such as humans. The lack of formal security guarantees prevents the use of RL for manipulators in real human environments, and therefore, researchers have developed a protection mechanism that ensures human safety, confirmed by ISO. The algorithm uses rapid analysis of the position of people and manipulators and forecasts their possible collisions to ensure that the manipulator stops completely before the person is within reach. The method can significantly expand the use of robots in real life by providing them with faster training with security guarantees. The Computing Robotics Laboratory of the Higher Technical School of Zurich introduced the Mixed Reality Control Interface at ICRA 2022, which allows operators to specify the target payload positions for multi-robot systems in real time, effectively protecting robots from failures. 
The problem was that while multi-robot systems have better stability and load-bearing capacity than a single machine, collective motion control can become a significant cognitive load for the operator. The researchers solved this problem by creating an intuitive remote control system that tracks and prevents deviations in robot operation. However, so far the system has been demonstrated on only one robot, the ABB Yumi. Scientists from the MIT Laboratory of Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence at MIT presented at the conference their research, which proposes to solve an incredibly difficult problem for the robot, namely, dressing a person. The thing is, working with an unpredictably shaped fabric for a robot is just as difficult as working with an unpredictable human being. Combining these two tasks for modern machines looks almost unbelievable. However, the researchers were able to train the robot using only two parameters as input the force applied to the clothes, and the approximate position of the elbow. Scientists use machine learning to store data using a special sensor suit. The robot compares the force applied to the clothing and the approximate area of the elbow, regardless of how the human arm is tilted or bent. The algorithm includes a dynamic model that predicts how the hand will move in the future, and each prediction is corrected by measuring the force acting on the tissue at a given point in time. Carnegie Mellon University researchers presented the results of their experiment at the conference. They'd previously gone on an ATV for a tour of rugged terrain including high grass, loose gravel, and mud. They aggressively controlled the ATV at speeds of up to 50 km per hour from seven types of sensory data, such as the speed of each wheel and the suspension position. The resulting dataset, called Tartan Drive, contained about 200,000 of these real interactions. Researchers believe that this data is the largest real-world multimodal off road driving data set in terms of both the number of interactions and the types of sensors. Five hours worth of data can be useful for learning a self-driving car. And the engineers at the University of California in San Diego at ICRA presented a low-cost, low-energy technology that helps robots precisely lay their way in a room, even with poor lighting and no recognizable landmarks. The technology uses nearby Wi-Fi hotspot signals to track the robot's movement and help it determine where it's going. Tests show the accuracy of Wi-Fi signals for localization and mapping was at the same level as the camera and LiDAR previously used in most current robot models. The MIT Laboratory of Informatics and Artificial Intelligence, or EMITI, presented at the conference a robotic grip using new fingers, Gel Sight Finray, which, like a human hand, is flexible enough to manipulate objects. What distinguishes this work from others is that the grip is equipped with sensors that can exceed the sensitivity of human skin. The capture is universal because it can passively adapt to different forms and thus capture a variety of objects. Thanks to the camera with sensory components, robo-wallers will also assess the overall shape of the object, the texture of the surface, and the orientation in space as well as the force applied to each finger. In a series of experiments, the gel sight sensor was able to discern even the convex inscription on the jar, distinguishing by a computer algorithm the thinner deformation level on the curved object. The Toyota Research Institute presented research results explaining why interactive perception and soft tactile sensors are crucial for manipulating complex objects such as liquids, cereals, or dough. Remember that the Institute developed universal home robots that will be able to help around the house and help take care of elderly people. Although robots now use universal grips for manipulation, Toyota's working on a soft end effector for the tactile robotic arm, called Stretch. Soft optical tactile sensors allow robots to manipulate deformable objects, capturing important characteristics such as high-resolution contact geometry and object matching assessments. Also on ICRA 2022, Dyson presented their prototypes of home robots. Hello Robot told the conference about the importance of size and weight for home robots. Stretch's smart manipulator is today probably the most inexpensive, compact, and lightweight mobile manipulator for indoor work. The robot can perform many tasks. The main structure consists of a two-wheeled movable base with differential drives, a lift and telescopic boom configured to achieve motion at the end of the boom. Extensions to the design include a one-degree freedom wrist to hold the tool, a dexterous wrist with two degrees of freedom to tilt and rotate the tool, and a compatible grip. Would you like a home assistant like this? Let us know in the comments. And hey, while you're here, subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of robotics and high tech.